Welcome to Scratch uh, from Redware. Today we're going to look at drawing graphs, which uh, if you're 12 to 13 years old and um, you live in the UK and you do maths, you'll recognize here as particular types of graphs. So I'm going to show you how to do them in Scratch from Scratch. So let's start a new project. Let's get rid of um, the cat sprite and have a new sprite uh, using everyone's favorite gobo okay what we need to do at the beginning on all our projects at the beginning when the green button is set we want to initialize the sprite so we want to make him 25 percent of his size which we can do with a change size button and we want to give him a not the change size the set size button we want to give him a location, uh, just a random uh, location, which we do with a motion. So we're going to go to, and we're going to pick random, a random spot for this gobo to go to. Now the coordinates here, you can see all down here. They, the x's go from minus two forty to plus two forty, and the y's minus one eighty to plus. 180 so we can change this to minus 240 240 for the X and minus 180 to plus 180 for the Y and now when we click him click the start button it's going to go to a random spot in the screen uh, which is just what we want now Let's focus on drawing. So what we want to do is when we click on the sprite, we want a loop that goes round 480 times, which will do us from minus 240 all the way through to plus 240. But that's going to be our x variable. Let's make a little variable here called x just for this sprite and let's set x to 0 at the, uh, to minus 240 at the beginning so we're going to start right over on the left hand side of the screen and then let's change x by 1 each time in the loop so basically here we're going from minus 240 to plus 240 and then we're going to go to and if we can just draw x equals y like that um, it'll just draw us x equals y um, but what we need to do put the pen down so he draws but just a little trick we'll put the pen down after the first first one that uh, that he does so I'm going to start off like that and let's put a little clear on the on the green button so now we've got the, the whole thing working so we clear everything down we click on him and that's drawing x equals y but we want to draw that's a bit of a boring one we want to draw x equals y y equals x squared so I just grab my little square here and let's put X in there, duplicate it, fire him off again, and you'll see the famous squared graph that you all recognize. There you go. Excellent. So now let's do a cube graph. So we're going to duplicate him like this. We're going to change the costumes. So let's go and change the costume for this guy. Uh, bring in another costume from the fantasy. He can be the cube. And all we've got to do is just change this line here where we've got y equals x squared. And let's make it y equals x cubed. There we go, and let's draw him. Um, 
So that's drawing y equals x cubed. As you'll see, you can't see very much of it there. So what we're just going to do, we're going to change the scale a little bit. And we'll just divide that by a 1,000, which will make it readable to the human eye. Let's have a look at that one. There you go. So some of you are going to recognize that. Now, let's do a sinusoidal one. We're going to do y equals the cosine of x. So first of all, as usual, let's just change the costumes. Let's give them a different costume. And we've got to change the script here to be cosine x so y equals cosine there's the cosine cos x chuck him in there let's go with him again not readable to the human eye so we need to multiply by a hundred to make it visible. Oops. Okay, let's have another look. And that is a sinusoidal graph. Now finally, we're going to do a function. We're going to do um, x squared, y equals x squared plus 50. So first, let's just get him a new costume. And let's change the script. And we're going to do y equals x squared plus 50. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Let's get um, Gobo first to, to run through, and that's x squared. And we followed it up with x squared plus 50. And you can see uh, all of them all on top of each other. And basically you can start uh, doing your own graphs if you wanted to. There you go. There's graph drawing in Scratch from Redware. Thanks for watching. And uh, get scratching.